Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's video is on Rickettsia staining by using Gymnase method. So let's start with it. Let's start with a short introduction about Rickettsia. The name Rickettsia was given by scientist Howard Ricketts. Further, Rickettsia is non-motile, that is, it cannot move from one place to another. It is gram-negative in nature. It is non-spore forming, that is, it is unable to form any kind of spores. And it is pleomorphic in nature. Now, what are pleomorphic bacteria? Pleomorphic bacteria are those bacteria which have the ability to change its shape. So here, Rickettsia is a pleomorphic bacteria. It can change its shape into cocci form, rod form or spiral form. Further, it is an obligate intracellular parasite. Now, what do you mean by obligate intracellular parasite? The bacteria or the microorganisms which are able to grow and multiply in the host cell are called as obligate intracellular parasites. And this microorganism is responsible for the cause of infection like rocky mounted spotted fever, typhus and Scrubs typhus infection as well as Rickettsia pox etc. So these are some important infections that are caused by Rickettsia. Further, it generally infects the eukaryotic cell. And these infection doesn't spread directly by air, water or soil. It requires a carrier to carry these infections from one host to another host. So, this infection does not spread by air, water or soil. It specifically requires a carrier which spreads the infection from one host to another host. Now, this infection is generally carried out by carrier like blood sucking orthopods as rickettsia is infectious it detects uh, its detection is very important and for its detection staining of these organism is one of the initial stages and important step so see now rickettsia is an infectious disease okay it is an infectious microorganism it can cause various diseases. Now, detection of these microorganism is very important. If this microorganism is detected in the early stages of infection, the infection can be treated easily. So, now for detection of this microorganism, staining is important. First of all, we have to stain the samples for detection of this microorganisms. Now, today we are going to see the staining procedure that is Rickettsia staining by gymnase method. So, let's start with it. Now, let's see the aim of the experiment. Now, the aim of this experiment is to stain Rickettsia by using gymnase staining method. Now, let's see the requirements. We require gymnase stain, malachite green and bacterial culture. So, these are the three important requirements. Now, let's see the procedure. Prepare a smear on a clean grease-free slide. Air dry it and heat fix the smear. Now, in my previous videos of staining, I have explained how you have to prepare a clean grease-free slide. So, you can easily observe the desired organism. Now, first of all, you have to take the slide, wash it with detergent, after that, you have to air dry that slide and pass that slide 2 to 3 times rapidly from the flame. Then you will get a clean grease free slide. Now, with the help of a wire loop, you have to prepare a smear on that slide. Further, air dry the smear and heat fix the smear. Now, treat the smear with Jimsa stain for about 2 to 3 minutes. After that, Water wash the slide and treat the smear with counter stain that is malachite green for about 2 to 3 minutes. Now after water washing the slide of Jimsa stain, 
we have to treat the smear with the counter stain and here the counter stain is malachite green we have to keep it for 2 to 3 minutes now after 2 to 3 minutes water wash the slide air dry and observe under oil immersion lens see a flow chart of rickettsia staining by jimsa staining technique first one First of all, we have to prepare a smear and heat fix it. Treat the smear with Jimsa stain for 2-3 to three minutes. Water wash and air dry the slide. Treat with malachite green for 2 minutes. Water wash, air dry and observe under microscope. This was the procedure of Rickettsia staining by Jimnase method. Now let's see the mechanism of action. Gymnase stain is made up of basic fuchsine, ethanol, phenol, sodium dihydrogen phosphate and disodium hydrogen phosphate. So these are the chemicals that are used for preparation of gymnase stain. Now gymnase stain has a property to stain both types of bacteria that is gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria. So, this stain can stain both the bacteria. Further, basic fuchsin which is present in gymnase stain stains negatively charged cytoplasm of the cell and stains it in pink color. So, basic fuchsin stains the negatively charged cytoplasm in pink color. Whereas, when we treat the smear with malachite green, and as we know, malachite green is a basic dye. It has a strong affinity towards host cell material as compared to the cytoplasm. So, this stains host cell material that is the background of the cell in bluish green color. So, what happens? First, when we treat our smear with gymnase stain, it stains the negatively charged cytoplasm in pink color after that when we apply malachite green this malachite green has a strong affinity towards the whole host cell material now host cell material here is a background which is present besides the cell so it stains the background of a cell in bluish green now let's see the observation here we are going to observe pink color stained bacterial cells are observed against the bluish green background so here just in this picture you can imagine you are going to get a bluish green color background and pink color bacterial cells this was all about rickettsia staining by gymnase method if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment in the comment section thank you for watching